In today's video, we're going to do an unboxing of XTAR's new BCA charger, tell you how long it takes to charge the batteries, and do a comparison between their batteries and Duracell. What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of JP Reviews. Today we have just received a package in the mail thanks to my friends down at XStar Batteries. Came up with a new battery and charger set called the BC8. Definitely check them out. I have a link in the description down below. But they sent me these batteries and the charger to review because they saw the trail camera that I had out here. And I was running some pretty cheap batteries if I do say so myself. So they were kind enough to send me these to do a full review. So we're going to unbox these. Show you guys a uh, total around the battery. How it looks like. How the charger field then we're gonna put the battery to charge show you guys how long that takes and have a dyno run and compare them with Duracell's batteries and these are rechargeable so I'm pretty sure these are gonna come up on top either way but let's unbox them let's show you guys where it comes inside and uh, if you guys should purchase these or not all right so today we're gonna be comparing these with the Duracell batteries let's uh, bust this thing open right from the top XTAR has has the nice beautiful battery and charger set right here as you can see here's some information down at the bottom it's a 1.5 volt double a batteries and they also have 1.2 volt i think mine's is the 1.2 volt we'll be comparing today against uh duracell's 1.5 volts they also have a little advantage there this is the front of it it also comes with this cable right here that has a usb c to usb i believe this is what you uh charge uh batteries with is with this cable right here it's nice and sweet feels pretty good and it also comes with a wall adapter this is the us adapter us charging adapter but they also send them for the uk um you have to just choose if you're from the uk it'll send you uk from the us it'll send you us this one is from the us so it came with this beautiful power brick let's bust these batteries open and see what it looks like inside all right so let's check inside this battery and charger right here um, bam there we have the bc8 chargers and their eight 1.5 volt AA batteries. My bad, they are 1.5 volt. Bust this thing out right here. First impressions, this thing feels nice and sweet to the hand. It also has this right here, so it'll be easy to pop in and out batteries. You can see, no hassle required. Very, very, very thoughtful from XTAR Company to come up with that. It feels quality, comes with the instruction manual also as well. Let's get these things charging. I'm gonna show you guys how long it takes to charge. What are the light indicators? And uh, we'll compare it with the Duracell batteries all right so we're back inside getting ready to put these batteries to charge but before that i want to give you guys a quick overview of the manual it comes in one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven languages but really you're just going to need to read this one panel right here and the charging uh, instructions are pretty simple you just plug it into the wall and uh, it starts charging also has the activation function the light indicators green means standby slash fully charged and red means charging or activating so that's the lights you'll need to uh, notice pretty simple stuff no you don't need to be a rocket scientist to figure this instruction manual out so uh, now that we got that out the way let's get this plug ready connect it right in here you have the USB-C uh, plug is right back here all right let's plug them in to see what happens all right so it goes green red and flash is green and it's solid red so i'm guessing these things are charging right now i'm gonna leave them here charging tell you guys how long it takes then uh, we'll run the dyno so as you can see the batteries have totally finished charging it took close to two and a half hours before this took place which is not bad compared to other brands out there who charge their batteries this one did it fairly fast and it's very useful for especially film uh, filmers out there who need the batteries for their uh wireless mics and things of that nature this thing charges it pretty pretty good if i do say so myself but now is the real test so we decided to run the dyno on the duracell batteries first so let's bust these things out we're going to be putting them inside my old remote control car that i've had for a while because uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put these inside here then what i'm going to zip tie this remote all the way down full throttle run the car and see exactly how long will it last before it dies off of me so we ran it on duracell and we ran it on the xtar uh 1.5 volt batteries after being fully fully charged by the bc8 charger that they have just released and let me tell you there was a clear cut winner all right, so after we ran the dynos on both of the batteries, let me tell you, there was a clear-cut 
winner. Duracell lasted 12 minutes before it cut off on my remote control car, just like that. Stopped running, nothing was working, 12 minutes flat. This XTAR 1.5 volt batteries with the BCA charger went for a minute and 12 seconds plus and it was still going strong it was going for so long i said bro i'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to cut this thing out one i might burn the motor of my remote control car and two i really gotta go to sleep so this is gonna have to cut off so this went for an hour and 12 minutes plus that's over six times the amount of your duracell batteries let me tell you chuck those things to the garbage Go down to the link in the description, pick yourselves one of these uh, XTAR BCA chargers, go down there, support them, and uh, you'll get your first choice on which type of battery and charger set you have. They also have AAA batteries if you guys are wondering, and this charger works for the AA and the AAA, so if you get both, you just have to carry one charger because it will charge both. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you want to see my previous video, don't forget to go on the left. If you want to see the video YouTube recommends, hit the button at the right, and if you want to join JPTV, hit the button at the top. Don't forget to check the link in the description and until next time, this is Josiah signing out.